Okay, this is Gamer Blave, and we're here with something a little different than the content that I normally put on my channel. But uh, I was looking for a method to automatically increment the episode number in a series of thumbnails uh, for a YouTube series. And um, I, I couldn't really find um, a method as easy as what I really wanted uh, on YouTube. So when I finally found a method that worked for me, I figured I would go ahead and uh, make a tutorial for anyone else who might want uh, to use, um, who might want to use this method um, instead of uh, another method. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is get the thumbnail more or less how you want it, and make sure that you've got your, um, make sure you've got your numerical text where you want it and make sure you've got enough room for uh, any other digits that are going to be. Uh, this particular series will probably only go into two digits so I only need to have room for two digits but if it's going to be a very long series make sure you've got room for three digits. In addition make sure that it is the top layer. Now if you want to if you if you want to change the script you could make sure I mean you could uh, use a different layer but if you want to use the script as I've provided it make sure it's the top layer and I don't really see why that would be a problem but I'm not a very uh, I'm not an expert Photoshop user so anyway I digress just if you want to use the script how I've got it make it that layer so without any further ado I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, that script and um, now uh, don't get intimidated by the script. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete the value that I've got in there. So now everything down here you can ignore completely. All we need to pay attention to are these three variables up here. Directory name, image name, and number of images. The directory name, and I'll go ahead and pull the directory that we're working in up here. The directory name is just going to be the directory that you want to put your thumbnails in once you've created them. So this is the directory I'm working in. It does not have to be your project directory, but I'm going to put it in my project directory just to be simple. So I'm just going to select it, right? Copy and paste it. Now we're working in JavaScript here, so we need to make sure that we change our slash as the forward slashes and it's critical that you put a slash at the end of the string as well and you also want to make sure that you title your um, your images uh, however you want so this is just going to be what your images are called and then they're also going to be appended with whatever number they have and then however many images you want now I'll for example, we're going to do 25 in this case. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. And we're just going to save it. Now you can see here we've got the uh, JPEG incrementer. We've also got a PNG incrementer. It works exactly the same way. I've got it right here. Uh, I can go ahead and save that too. But um, see, they work in identical fashion. Um, and I'll provide both of those uh, links or links to both of these files in the description. And once you've got that saved, literally all you have to do, so that's pretty, that's pretty straightforward right there. All you have to do is file, scripts, browse. Now by default, it should come up with your um, project directory. So, I usually put my script in my project directory, but if you want to keep your script in, you know, uh, a main script directory because you're doing a bunch of different series and you don't want to copy it from place to place, uh, you can do that and then just edit it as you need to, however you want to do it. And, you know, the JPEG incrementer is the one that I'm using here, so I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm going to go ahead and drag my directory back over and you can see that it's populating them right now. And there we go. So we've got our 25, um, we have our 25 JPEGs. 
Now the PNG one works in identical fashion. I have noted that it's a little bit slower, but that's just the difference in the file format. Um, but yeah, there, there it is. So, you know, once again, all you're going to do, literally all you do. So, I mean, that was a little bit quick, um, or that, that was a little bit long winded, but all you're going to do is take this file directory name, file name, number of images, save scripts, select that script and you're done. That's it. Okay. So, uh, if you like this video, Go ahead and give it a like. Um, if you like gameplay videos, I would ask, uh, and you're not already subscribed to the channel, uh, then go ahead and uh, subscribe um, and check out some of my other content. I'm probably not going to release any other Photoshop uh, tutorials uh, because I am not very proficient in Photoshop itself. Uh, I mean, look at this freaking thing. I could have done it in paint for crying out loud. Um, I, I definitely have no idea what I'm doing in Photoshop in general. Um, but, uh, you know, I just wanted to find an easy way to do this. And uh, code is something that I do know a little bit of how to work with. Uh, that being said, um, as always, thanks for watching.